Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for function and graph. The function f and g are defined by fx is equals to 2 ln bracket x plus 3, where the domain is x greater than negative 3. And the function of gx is equals to exponent kx minus 3, where the x is all real number, where k is a constant. Show that fx is 1 to 1 function. So where we have f x sub 1 is equals to f x sub 2. Kindly substitute the x. So 2 ln bracket x sub 1 plus 3 is equals to 2 ln x sub 2 plus 3. Kindly compare the situation. And we have x sub 1 plus 3 is equals to x sub 2 plus 3. Simplify the situation. x sub 1 equals to x sub 2. So meaning that fx is a 1 to 1 function. Because x sub 1 is equals to x sub 2. B. Find the f rho g. So in here, f rho g is equals to substitute the function g into the function f. So 2 ln bracket the x would be the function of g. So exponent kx minus 3 plus with the 3 Simplify the situation, 2 ln bracket exponent kx. As we all know, ln e, we have 1. Then, the power of kx we can bring forward. So, f rho g is equal to 2 multiply with kx. So, the function f rho g is equal to 2k x c the function gx is the inverse of fx so meaning that g is inverse of f so it shows that f rho g is equals to x determine the value of k so previously b we already found the f rho g so f rho g is equals to 2 k x equals to x so kindly compare the situation so where we have 2 k is equals to 1 so k is equals to 1 over 2 so the function of g x will be equals to exponent x over 2 minus 3. So now kindly focus on D. Sketch the graph of fx and gx on the same axis. So previously we already know that they are inverse to each other. So now I'm going to focus on the left hand side which is the function of fx. So in order to sketch the graph for ln or the function of fx, Step number one, find the domain. So in here, domain has been given where we have x greater than negative 3. So the domain for f is negative 3 until infinity where the negative 3 is not included. Step number two, determine the direction. So kindly refers to the coefficient of x. So if it's a positive, so meaning that our graph will be moving towards the right. Step number three is to find the interception. So when x is equals to zero, the value of y will be equals to two ln three. So in here, kindly estimate the value of two ln three, which is y equals to two point two. So basically, we already have the idea. The intercept will be zero, two, ln three. Step number four, 
to find the x-intercept y equals to 0 so if y equals to 0 where we have 0 equals to 2 ln bracket x plus 3 rearrange the situation where we have 0 over 2 0 exponent 0 equals to x plus 3 so exponent 0 is equals to 1 so value of x is equals to negative 2 where we will have the point negative 2 0 so now what we have to do is to sketch the graph so kindly focus on number 1 where we have negative 3 is the asymptote so now we have the asymptote x equals to negative 3 number 2 refers to the points of intersection where we have the y intercept 0 2 ln 3 so kindly estimate 2 ln 3 is the 2.2 so here we have 1, 2, around here. Okay, so where we have 0, 2, ln 3. Next, illustrate the negative 2, 0. So where we have here, negative 2, 0. So now we have to sketch the graph for ln. So basically the graph will be looking like this so where we have the fx is equals to 2 ln bracket x plus 3 so now we have to sketch the function of gx so as we all know it is inverse to each other so now i'm going to use the reflection method to sketch the graph so number one kindly focus on x equals to negative 3 it is a asymptote for function of x so if for the function of g, we have to reflect the situation where we have the reflection y equals to x. So now, x equals to negative 3, we have to interchange. It becomes y equals to negative 3. So where we have y equals to negative 3. Next, focus on the point negative 2, 0. So by using the reflection method, negative 2 is the value of x and 0 is the value of y we have to interchange so it becomes 0 negative 2 so where we have this point 0 negative 2 after we reflect the situation the third one is by referring to 0 2 ln 3 if you reflect the situation it will become 2 ln 3 0 so where we have 1 2 around here the 2.2 so here we have the name 2 ln 3 0 so now we have to sketch the situation so basically this will be the graph for gx so gx is equals to exponent x over 2 minus 3 so here we have the reflection axis so where we have the reflection axis y equals to x if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend thank you so much for watching this video bye